Hi boys and girls. I'm out on my deck because it's an absolutely gorgeous day and I thought I'd read you a book. So the book I got for you today is this beautiful book here. Looks like it's a lot of fun. I picked it off the shelf because this boy here looks like he's having so much fun. I see his smiling face and um, he has paint all over him. Somehow that looks like fun to me. The name of the book is I Ain't Gonna Paint No More with a big exclamation point. Hmm. Now I know he's saying that, but for some reason, I don't believe it. Hmm. I think there's a story here. I'd like to find out what he's talking about. Now the author is Karen Beaumont and the illustrator is David Catro. And we know illustrated means he's the one that drew the pictures or painted the pictures. Now from looking at this book, the front and the back, just the cover, I think that the artist had a lot of fun with this book. But something else came uh, to mind when I read the book and Karen Beaumont, she's the author, she writes the words. And the way an artist can have fun with a paintbrush, an author or a writer has fun with the words or the language. So she uses words to have fun. And one of the ways a writer can use words to have fun is by rhyming them. So let's keep our ears open and listen for any rhymes. So I think she's going to have a little fun with them. So let's, let's go here and see what they have to say. I ain't going to paint no more. Whoa. There we go. Look at that first beautiful painting. It's splashes of blue and red and green and yellow. And I see some black over here. Looks like they had a lot of fun with that. Might have gotten a little messy. All right. One day my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holla like I never did before. You ain't gonna paint no more. And there we find our friend in the bathtub. That's what happens to us too at the end of the day if we've had a lot of fun with the dirt and the paint, we have to get in the bathtub and get clean. He doesn't look very happy. Okay, now yeah, it's nice and clean. Everything's in black and white. And I see the mommy is reaching way up high and putting his paints way up on the top shelf there. And I see him up here looking down. Hmm. He's watching mama put them away. And it says, I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. And now let's look closely and we see what he did. He's piling one box on top of the other and he's reaching way up high in the closet to get down his paints. Hmm, he's starting. Look at the dog. Look at the dog's face, he's so cute. So I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Ah, but what the heck? I'm gonna paint my neck. Now I, now did you hear that rhyme? Neck and heck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Hmm, still, I cannot rest till I paint my chest. Oh my goodness, there he goes. He's got his shirt off and he's painting himself. Hmm, look at the dog. Looks a little worried. So now he says again, now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm though, if I paint my, hmm, ain't no harm if I paint my arm. You're right. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. All right, he's not gonna do it anymore, he says. Hmm, I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my, what do you think? Hand, you're right. He just can't stand it. Look at how fun, he does have a lot of fun with his paint though. It's not just green, it's red and orange and yellow. Now he says again, now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my, what do you think? 
I see some black, so I paint my back. You're right. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Look at him. He has actually a roller. He's rolling the paint down his back. That is really getting a little crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Now he's covered with paint. But he says, like an Easter egg, I'm gonna paint my, hmm, egg. What rhymes with egg? My leg, you were right. What? He painted it like your Easter egg with zigzags and polka dots. Look at, <laughs> the dog looks like a bunny rabbit. So he says again, now I ain't gonna paint no more. Hmm, still I ain't complete till I paint my feet. I can't even find him here. He's camouflaged in his painting. But he's actually standing up here on this ottoman or a cushion or a... I see his feet. They look like Easter eggs. Look at the dog. I think the dog is having fun, but I think the dog's a little worried because it's getting a little messy again. So he says again, now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, I'm gonna paint my, what? There's the mommy, again. Y'all don't faint. Cause there ain't no paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. There, the mommy found him again. And he's back up in the tub. That's what happens to us on the end of a day that we had a lot of fun. So boys and girls, what did you think of that book? Did you think it was fun? Did you think the paintings were fun? Maybe it makes you wanna go paint. Now I don't recommend painting your body like that unless it's summertime and you can jump in your pool or run through the sprinkler. But it might be fun to paint something on a piece of paper. I don't think you should paint on the walls. <laughs> but now we saw that the artist had fun and we also saw that how the author had fun. She used rhyming words like, like let's find some of them, like egg and leg, like black and back, harm and arm. So anyway, I found it like a, a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.